gonna make a little circle drive and on the way back we'll stop state them for a couple of minutes. Yeah, we'll go out and search for Bigfoot. All right. Look at that one in the water. Get some of that feet out of this bucket up here in front. Pass some fat. Dad, you have a little piece of that. Dad, you have a little piece of that. These are Scottish Allen cattle. They're short legged compared to most cattle. All these are females with long horns. You can touch them with tail, take pictures. Then I hurry up, baby. That'll get some food. Thank you. Goes up there pretty easy, didn't it? Get up there, Linda. Bunch of them over here. One big hill. What's one? Holy more? smokes! On. We're gonna go up that Maybe thing. Oh my gosh, there's birds on there, Dad. Oh my God, we're going up this darn hill. God, they're they unreal. Being on top of the radio hill. We know that's, that's not possible. Fine. We've lost contact with truck 12 and none of the researchers are farm crews are Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Our researchers are always scared to be by this cave at night since they've seen eyes and heard lots of unusual noises coming from the cave. There is a large rock just inside the opening and every time they remove it, it gets replaced within a few hours. 50 years old. This was his still right below the cabin where he made his acorn whiskey. You can see the spring coming right out of the mountain up there on the right, and there is his tiny cabin. Can't have been too comfortable. Can you imagine sleeping in that cabin and waking up to a mighty roar? He made whiskey from acorns, but I've been told that acorn whiskey is poisonous for humans. Old Dan might have had an iron stomach, but somebody had a big imagination, I guess.
You are entering an area that we call the Indian Camp. There were Indians in the Ozarks way before there were any white men. The Ozark Indians were known to be a very tall, aggressive clan. The Indians did tell stories about a big, hairy man, like many other tribes. It was part of their culture and law, and an essential part of their spiritual life. The paintings on the wall tell the story of a hairy man saving a pregnant cow from a wolf, which made the people in his debt. The people made a statue of the hairy man to worship, but then the old people died, and the new people were enemies with the hairy man, and drove him deep into the mountains which angered the gods and made them send a storm and fire which drove the people away. The hairy man and the people fled together and once again enjoyed a time of peace and prosperity. The people made a new statue to see what is going on. We thought someone might be using the cabin to make drugs. We had cameras set up and we were trying to catch them in the act. Looks like we might have been right. What? I'm getting us out of here. Dang. Oh, oh my God. I know this business, man. Come on. Holy Come smoke. On. Come on. I don't eat that with a job like this. I'm so dying. Holy <laughs> crap, look at those car marks on the tree. I've got to everybody stay in the trap no matter what. Oh, man, what is this place? What the heck is all this stuff? It looks like a freaking drug lab or something. Here we go.
That's where we're at, right in there. Cruising around. Wow. Amazing. Woo! Woo! So we just came for buying in Ford F F550. This is awesome. <laughs> 